Greetings to our entire Medford Township Public School community. I'm Mark Damon and I'm the Technology Coordinator for the School District. But more importantly than that, in this broadcast, I'm very happy to announce the arrival of a new online presence for our school district. The redesign of our website has been a project spanning over a year that began with a survey sent out on April 15th, 2019 to parents and staff. In this survey, we asked our community members a series of questions about our existing website, what information they sought out the most, and what was important to them in a new online presence. We analyzed all this information, which included almost 400 responses, and we built our new website with a focus on your needs. And it was time. Our current website is now over 10 years old and is built on technology that's not even supported anymore. This video is to walk you through some highlights of our new website that will make your virtual visit more aesthetically pleasing and, perhaps more importantly, efficient. After all, the survey results made it crystal clear. Our community wants to get in and get out. They want to get the information they need and not get lost clicking down a rabbit hole of links. In fact, 98% of the parents responding to our survey said that efficiency of accessing data was a top priority. Within those results, 97% wanted a consistent menu structure across all buildings, which I'm sure also affects the efficiency of getting information. I'm sure you're going to see that our new website has taken those into consideration. So we learned that our parents wanted efficient access to information. The next piece of the puzzle was to determine what information our community wants when they visit a website. The top three areas included staff information, calendar information, and lunch menus. As you're going to see, we've made these areas a prominent and easily accessible part of our new design. All that being said, let's take a look. The first thing you need to know is that the link to our main district website will remain the same. You'll continue to access our Medford Township School District by going to www.medford.k12.nj.us. That being said though, if you've bookmarked individual school sites, those have changed. You'll be able to access each school's page through our main site. But if you're going to want quick access to a specific school site, you're going to want to make a note of the new address and change your bookmarks and shortcuts if you have them. These are the links to our school district and our school sites. Now let's hop over to our main district site and take a little tour know that not all links will be fully functional at launch but we're going to be updating any inactive links as quickly as possible when you first get to the new site you will find a clean look that will feature a rotating gallery of photos that will be frequently updated and will highlight some points of pride throughout our district at the top of the page you will see a drop down menu structure with a limited number of options under each heading to keep menu navigation efficient as I mentioned earlier, parents wanted a consistent menu structure across buildings. While the district site has a different menu than the school sites, you will find that the top menu option will be the same for each of our seven schools to help find information quickly. From the top menu, you'll be able to jump to any of our schools, access information about our school board, including our policies, and a link that will take you directly to our board docs page, which contains agendas for all our school board meetings. As we move along the top menu, you can learn more information about many of our departments. The parent option houses frequently accessed items for our parent community, including reporting absences, cafeteria information, and registration information. Community members can access information on organizations connected to our district and other groups in our town that you may be interested in. Our staff directory will take you to a list of staff members in alphabetical order for that site. You should note that for our district site, the staff directory shows staff at the district level. If you are looking for a staff member at the building level, you'll have to visit the staff directory on that school's page. When you access the staff directory, you will be able to type in a keyword to find someone quickly. For example, let's say you want to know who's in the technology department. I could type technology in the search bar and we'll see only those staff members associated with the district technology department. 
I can also click on a staff member's name to go to their staff page. For teachers, this is where you'll access class information, homework information, or any other personal information they care to post. I can also subscribe to the staff member's page so that at any time there's an update to their page, I'll be notified. Finally, from the staff directory, I can send an email to any staff member directly from this page using an embedded online form. When I click to email the staff member, an interactive form appears. Once I click to enter my name, it will require me to acknowledge myself using a Google, Yahoo, Facebook, or Microsoft account. This is to ensure our staff receives messages that are secure and valid and not anonymous or spam related. Please know we respect your privacy and do not use the information for anything other than to authenticate you are who you say you are. Back to the main page. Our calendar option is one of our most powerful updates. From the calendar menu on the district page, you can access the traditional printable calendar, or you can access the online version by clicking the district calendar. This calendar is also available on each school's website. Let's take a look at this page. The calendar page offers a range of options. On the lower right side, you can select which school's calendar you want to view. Selecting multiple calendars will display them all on one page. So if you have a child in multiple buildings, you will be able to display all the calendars on the same page. Let's say I have a child at Chairville, Haynes, and Memorial. When I check off those options, all three school calendars appear on the main page and they're color coded to help me keep track of which events belong to which school. Now, if I click the calendar view option, I'll get a month at a glance calendar that has those school's events all on one page. I can now print this out and hang it on my refrigerator. Don't forget to check back though in case any events are added throughout the month. But this brings me to another new powerful feature of our calendar page. You can subscribe to any of our calendars. By clicking the subscribe button, I'm offered several options that will allow me to sync a calendar to my personal calendar. Doing this will automatically add new school events to my personal calendar so that I don't have to keep checking back for updates. Any new events will automatically appear in my personal calendar of choice so that I'm always in the know. Back on the main page. The final top menu option on our main page and on our school pages is for staff links. This area is reserved for our staff only and is password protected. This area will allow us to provide information to our staff so that they can securely access it anywhere in the world. Let's talk more about efficiency since that was an important piece of feedback from our staff and parents. On our main page and on all of our school sites, you will find a set of five quick link icons directly below our rotating photo gallery. These five items reflect the most critical and most frequently accessed items based off of our research. With just one click, parents will be able to access lunch menus, online payment information, parent genesis access for student information, our staff directory, and the instructions for reporting an absence. Get in and get out. Minimal clicks to the most frequently accessed information. Scrolling further down, you will find an upcoming events section. This pulls calendar data to our main site. Clicking on the title of an event will bring you to more information about that event. Clicking on Show All Events will take you to the calendar page we looked at earlier in this video. Continuing down our page on our main site and on our school sites, you will see a Recent News section. This will provide you a scrolling bar of the most recent news from the school and the district. You're able to click on these thumbnails to read more information about any of the news headlines. Next, on the main page, we have the superintendent's message. On the school sites, this will be the principal's message or another very important piece of information that the principal wants to share. If you click the read more option, you'll be able to read the entire article. And finally, in the footer of each page is contact information. Other links, including our anti-bullying information and accessibility commitment, and a lower right panel that allows you to search our site by keyword and access our social media presence. One area to note as well is in the lower left section of our page. 
Visitors to our website now have the ability to translate any of our pages into over 100 different languages. Information accessibility to our entire community is a very important piece of our new website, which is very important to us, and which is why we not only include this translation feature, but we also opted to embed an ADA compliance package that will roll out within 180 days of launch. Our entire site will be monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week by a third party company to ensure full compliance with all ADA regulations. Our site will include alternate text on all videos and pictures. It will include text to speech options for those with limited vision. It will allow for a customized experience for everyone with options to enlarge text, change color contrasts, change character spacing, and change fonts. That brings us to the end of our website tour. One last item to note is that if you ever get virtually lost on our site, which we hope doesn't happen, you can always click the main district logo in the top left corner of your screen. This will bring you right back to the main page, whether it's on the district site or a school site. No clicking down the rabbit hole and losing your way. I want to thank everyone who worked so hard on this project. Our website is a window into our district. Not only does it provide information to our current families, but many times it is the first impression that job prospects get before coming in for an interview. It also serves as the first impression for many families who are considering a home purchase in our town. We wanted to make sure our district was efficient for everyone while reflecting the outstanding community we serve. If you have any questions about our new site, please email curriculum at medford.k12.nj.us. Or, better yet, hop over to our new website and select the Contact Us option at the bottom of the page. We'll see you online.